I don't got but a couple minutes, so let's make this quick. Um, yesterday I planted a bunch of tomatoes, um, and I've got other tomatoes out here in like greenhouse capabilities. So that they're those are my German Johnsons, the only four that have made it. These ones up front last night, I don't think I covered. Yeah, I did. They got covered with glass jars. These are all kinds of extras that I was not planning on having. So they're getting planted up here. I'm building the bed up more and adding to it more. And then I'm going to lay chicken wire on top of it. All of them came out and I've put jars around them to create little greenhouses. The ones that are in their cups, I didn't put greenhouses on. I'm kind of trying to, like I said before, Freudian the tomatoes because we need to be able to have them strong enough to handle the changes. And then I got extra, these ones here are big enough and strong enough that I did not need to give them houses because these are those super tall ones. There's just as much below the ground as there is above the ground so that they can grow and create their own roots. Um, those are my Tommy toes. And they didn't need them because they've got big, beautiful uh, green tops to them. Three of them there, two of them there, my Tommy toes. Let's come in the back, back here. These ones, like I said, I'm out here early in the morning so I can pull the top off of some of these. Cause some of them... I'm not sure if that one back there is going to make it. You know what? I think I'm going to change it around and make it so this one is in a glass jar. To maybe do just that little bit of extra babying. Now, if you're using glass jars, make sure that you have a breathe hole at the bottom because you need oxygen to be able to get in and out of the plant. These ones, just as much below the surface as above the surface. Same with this. This was a taller one that had lost all of its lower leaves. So this one here is almost as big as this one. Ooh, I have an arm that snapped off. Part of the reason I'm also doing this is live on the plains of North Dakota. The tomatoes need to be able to handle the wind. And we had strong wind last night. So we want them to learn. They need to be able to handle... The, strong winds that we get here that's also why I put fans on them these were all ones that were not planned on growing I just happened to have extra seeds of them so I used up the seeds got some good plants out of them we're gonna let and see what does and does not grow these are beefsteak next one of my Amish tomato pastes as you can see oxygen spot underneath of it it causes it to have moisture it turns into a beautiful little greenhouse um, I only do these on nights that it gets below 45 degrees and I'll only do that for this first two or three weeks until the tomatoes are completely hardy enough to handle should come the middle of May we get odd cold nights um, what I do is I'll just stick sticks down into the edges and stick sticks around the beds around the tomatoes or cages and just lay blankets on top of them to help them stay warm. Back here I have extra tomatoes that I was not planning on getting. They are in their cups and then I partially buried the cups so that they've got heat so that they could survive the cold night but they've also got the wind barrier here of the shed. And this is a raised bed, so it's nice and warmer. So they had a little bit of a warmer night. But again, the tops, have, it's just the tops and a long scangly thing because the arms have died on them from hardening them off because this is North Dakota weather. Wind beating them up. We need them to, like I said, Darwin and survive. Now what I'll do is I'll plant these and build the dirt up to about here around them so they'll have that much plus other below it will not rot them because of the way I'll build them up 
so you won't get rotting you'll just get root growth instead um, I think you saw that mound over there on that one mound it up to encourage root growth um, and then we encourage them to survive and what does survive is meant to be here what doesn't survive is not meant to be here and whatever does survive the best of what survives I'll be picking the best fruit off of those um, gathering the seeds from those and starting to create my own seed stock that is proven to survive here in the North Dakota winds weather and temperature changes um, next these have to come off because there's no oxygen in them Okay, that's a branch that is coming off and breaking off. Again, see the winds of North Dakota? We want to encourage this. That leaf will die a little bit more and come off easier. I got one in here, and let's get this pink tank off of it. Some of these arms won't survive which is okay it encourages it to grow taller and then i'll be um building up a little bit of soil up to about here and then it'll be encouraged to grow more another one take the lid off this one i'm not sure if it will or will not survive it looks like it's wanting to survive these dead leaves off of it so it doesn't keep choking out the ones that are trying to grow I'm not sure if this one will survive we'll have to see if not I'll be like I said planting more straight seed straight into here just to then see what because I'm okay with having stages of growth look back there my lettuce that I planted back there is gonna grow and I've got a row of lettuce back here so that when the tomatoes grow up they'll be um, shaded behind the tomato plants I mean when my lettuce grows up it'll be shaded behind the tomato plants and that's what I did I will continue to come around and cover them up and uncover them for at least another three weeks to encourage growth and hardiness and these extreme temperature shifts and changes here in North Dakota um, also here these ones um, I didn't cover them up last night because as you can see they're surrounded with all kinds of other barriers so that this is already going to stay more warm and it's got a much warmer soil level in it because they're all together and because this tank gets direct sun all day so it has heated up the dirt nicely so all I did was plant them I didn't need to put a top on them it only got to 45 last night I only put tops and covers on ones that could potentially not survive or have warm enough soil levels for survival tonight it is supposed to hit 37 so I will be even covering these ones to like create like a micro greenhouse this evening to give them a chance. So there we go. All my tomatoes. There's so much other stuff going on. Woo. I got lots of radishes popping up now. Noise. Anyways, alright guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Well, or later in this vlog, I don't know, we'll see what this vlog turns out to be. Or video turns out to be. Alright guys, bye! Alright guys, we had a cold night last night. I've been training my tomatoes to handle the weather change. Let's see how they did. That one did great. That one may look pathetic, but that's actually new leaf. And then that one's doing awesome. I had a cage on that one because I did not want to lose that big beauty. All right.
Let's go look at other tomatoes. I got a whole bunch of garden stuff everywhere. Let's see here. How did they do? They all look like they did pretty good last night. Now, are you just being beaten up or what? All right, well, these ones look like they did okay. More to check over here. Some of these, like I had said before, all of these are extras, so whether or not they survive does not matter to me, but they all look good. It was 39 last night. So, like I said, I'm training my tomatoes to handle the extreme temperature changes here. They all look great. They look beautiful. Alright, on to the next ones, guys. Get out of here, you stinky birds. Pulling out worms. Oh, I've got a bunch of... Uh, weeds coming up. Weed flowers, whatever you want to call them. The tomatoes seem like they handled everything just fine. This one, we'll see what happens. But they look like they handled things just fine. My Amish paste handled things just fine. These sweet 100s handled things just fine. There's my garden bed I've been redoing. Today I'm gonna to be starting planting. And all these guys look like they handled themselves just fine. Yay! This is from touching the plastic container that was on them last night. It's part of the reason I left them uncovered today. And at the back, you can see all my lettuce is coming up. Yay! Alright, guys. Looks like my tomatoes handled the... Whoa! Fun, fun! Out from under my feet! Sorry, buddy. Uh, looks like the tomatoes handled the uh, temperature last night. So, everything's good. Alright, guys. I'm going to end this here because... I don't even know what clips I've got going on or what kind of a video this is going to end up being. So we'll see you guys all in the next one. And remember everyone, stay positive. Bye.